Hey, it's Gina Duke. Welcome to She Prayer Journal's weekend workshop where I have been prayer journaling away, as you can tell. I am using my book, Organizing Your Prayer Closet, A New and Life-Changing Way to Pray. And inside, it has a 60-week structured prayer journal. And so I've been decorating it and sharing it, and I'm really loving it. It's just added a whole new fun element to praying really. Uh, I loved prayer journaling. I loved this whole concept of structured prayer journaling, but I'm really liking the decorating aspect of it as well. And so I've been sharing that. This was my setup for the week of January 10th through the 16th. And just to tell you a little bit about what I've used, um, it's these combination of these two washi tapes, which I'm really, I love the little streamers here, and I love this little um, design as well. It's really kind of fun. Um, this one came from just uh, order off Amazon. This one, unfortunately, I did not again capture where I got it, and I can't even remember, and I even have it haven't even had it that long that just tells you how bad my mind is but um but typically the places i shop are michael's uh walmart um, office depot and hobby lobby and so anyways that's probably it's one of those places where i picked it up at as you can see i did add a little um bit of uh, construction not construction but scrapbook paper and folded it and uh I glued it and also taped it in here and I'm using some little cutouts or stickers from this little sticker pack um, this is just a and E. it's an a and the um, it's like the horseshoe for Omega for Alpha and Omega and then I pulled out this little saying out of there that says be still and know that I am God um, this has been kind of um I don't know, I call it, it's kind of been a crappy week in a way because I've had some things going on that's really too personal to discuss, but just um, just some sadness involved with it, and uh, so it's been a rough week, and I set it up to remember, remind myself that God is the Alpha and the Omega. He knows the beginning from the end. He knows how things are going to turn out. I have to, like, trust Him in that, and, you know, I've got to just sometimes be still and know that he is God. So I did a little journaling page here and poured out my heart to the Lord about that matter. Um, I did some highlighting over some verses that I've memorized. And then you can see um, in my in this part where it says, uh, for praise and thanksgiving, you know, I'm thankful for what's not. You know, God says to be thankful in all circumstances. So I try to look for the shining, you know, the, what do you call it, the silver lining <laughs> and issues and, and just to try to be thankful, find ways to be thankful. I'm just, I'm so happy with my man. That was another one. My husband is just such a, you know, he's just someone who I just can really depend on and, and just love to having him in my life. And, you know, he's just such a source of comfort for me as well. And then I made a note about my daddy's integrity. You know, for those of you that have been listening, you know that my mother's in hospice care. And uh, I have a wonderful family, but I'm telling you, I've really, we've really been tried in a couple of ways with some of our uh, loving family members. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's the enemy or what, but it's like, you know, seriously, we're going through this with my mother and you want to be upset about this and that. And... You know, I'm just thinking, my father, he is just such a humble man, and his integrity and honor and the way he handles things really astounds me. It's like, I want to be upset. I want to be upset, but I realize, too, that I don't have the grace to... Um, because it's not it's not my issues, uh, you know, it's things that's, you know, the conversation I have with my dad, and he doesn't want to be upset with them, so it's like, you don't have the grace to be upset with them either. i got to let it go. If he's going to let it go, I've got to let it go. And he just continued to be good to people, and, I mean, he's just such a loving example for me. Um, I made a note here under freedom and forgiveness where I talk about things I'm struggling with. And, you know, basically last weekend I just worried my whole weekend away. I didn't get to accomplish half the things I needed to. I about worried away this weekend. So it wasn't even a very good repentance entry because I feel like I've just kind of done the same thing. But just really trying to trust the Lord with this particular situation.
As you can see, I'm using my little dots here where I'm putting an A. If I'm just simply asking God to intervene with an issue, I'm using the S. If I'm trying to still seek out and determine what I need to do that's in God's will. And K is for knocking. If there's something I need to do, um, sometimes there's things we throw up to the Lord and really it's just something we need, to, we need to take care of. And, you know, I can pray about it and wish it away and hope it away, but sometimes the Lord just wants us to be personally involved with solving some of these issues as, as we're co-laborers with Him. So I am bringing them before the Lord and you can see He is faithful again to be answering prayers. I mean, He's that immediate really in a lot of, lot of ways. And then sometimes we know it takes a while before we get the answer on certain prayer requests. If you hear that blender, it's because my wonderful husband's decided to blend something while I'm taping, so I apologize for that. Um, my heart, my passion, um, I feel so sorry for my dad. I just made a note about that. I don't know, with everything he's going through, I'm not sure why we're still, he's having to deal with some of these things that are so unpleasant. Um, I mentored a young lady this week and just really um, praying that God deals with her. And uh, one thing I learned through this whole mentoring thing, and I put it in my insight and updates, is that sometimes if we ignore the Lord, He'll do something to get our attention, or He's going to change our circumstances in order to redirect us. I believe God is faithful like that, and 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 sometimes it feels unpleasant, but it can be the Lord and still be unpleasant, but it's Him really trying to get us, you know, back in His will, what He should be doing. You know, it reminds me when Naomi... This isn't the greatest example, but in a way it's profound. When Naomi in the scriptures in the book of Ruth, when her husband and, and, ch and two sons died, you know, it was, it was really her husband's idea to leave Bethlehem during a, a famine that the Lord had brought against Israel because of their disobedience. And so uh, Naomi's husband said, we're moving somewhere else. And they moved to Moab where, you know, that was not where God's people was supposed to be. It was a pagan country. And there... Her sons and, and, and her husband died. And sometimes I think, well, maybe, you know, her sons were also part of the problem. And the Lord, um, after, after they died, uh, she came back to Bethlehem. And uh, Bethlehem is where she was supposed to be. And when she came back into town, she just looked so bitter, so different. And obviously you can understand that if you've lost your husband and two of your children and they said, Naomi, is that you? And she says, call me Mara because the Lord has afflicted me. And when I studied that word afflicted, it was really the picture of a, a shepherd's hook staff, the hook on the end of the staff that pulls the, the, the lamb or the goat, not goat, but the lamb or the sheep that is wandering away and he's pulling him back into the fold. And you can imagine how unpleasant that is for the sheep and maybe even thinking that the shepherd's being cruel to him. But that's not uh, at all. He's he's de desperately trying to bring her back into his perfect will. And he brought her back to Bethlehem. And so at any rate, that's just some of the insights that I gave on ears to hear. Um, what is God uh, saying to me? I just feel like he continues in one of these particular issues. He continues to speak to me, reveal some things to me in order to help me make the right decisions. And so that's kind of my week summed up right there. And that's my note. And here is a sneak peek for next week. And I'm uh, kind of just consoling myself with some pretty colors. And I'll talk more about that next week. But in the meantime, I hope you have a great week and happy prayer journaling.